Sherwood, thank you very much. And I would like to echo and, and again piggyback on what you said and what Steve said earlier about the cooperation between the university and the town. It really is remarkable. This, this, uh, I'll tell you a little bit about how far back I go. I was living here in town and working when the bus system first started. And I was driving around town with a couple fellas that had been here forever and uh, I worked with. And they were all laughing. And they said, well, get out your checkbook because in a year we'll all be able to buy those buses for real cheap and convert them into RVs. <laughs> so guess what? 25 years later, because of that cooperation, because of our determination to make a difference, we're unveiling a whole new bus design today. We continue to grow, we continue to expand, and we continue to focus on different ways to get from point A to point B. Before I get into sort of specifics, I want to issue a little bit of a challenge, if I may. And this is a good group to issue to. Debbie and I were talking a little earlier, and we talk about almost in, in society is two forms of transportation. There's the automobile, and then there's alternative. And I think we as a society, as a community, need to think of all ways to get from point A to point B as being equally legitimate, equally high on the priority list, and, and a viable way to look at how we deal with transportation. So I'm asking y'all to think about something. An email. It's rrortem at blacksburg.gov. Just go on the website. Let's come up with something besides alternative transportation. When we talk about bus, when we talk about men's transit, when we talk about bikes, when we talk about pedestrian, let's think about all this in a holistic way of how we get from point A to point B and, and really focus our resources on that. So everybody's getting nervous because I'm supposed to pull out my little sheet here. And uh, I want to, on behalf of the town, recognize all those people who, who worked on this project. I mentioned Debbie Fried a little earlier. Debbie was involved. Fiona, where's Fiona? Is she hiding? Fiona was just a, a tremendous asset with all this and, and kept it all going and, and pushing ahead. Uh, Karen Harris, Karen did a great job. And, and Jennifer Harris, she did a good job. But uh, I just, uh, and to include everybody in the votes and the judging, so I, I was part of that group and I appreciate being made part of that group. Got to, got to vote online, and uh, you know, voting online is a lot easier than going to the polls sometimes. So uh, we, we have a lot of responses, and uh, I want to right now go ahead and recognize our first place winner, Dave Elmore. Dave, are, are, are you here? Oh, there you are. I have for you a little gift. For, for your wonderful design, and also, I think the picture over here is, is, is to uh, take with you. So let's go stand by your picture. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we're going to go outside and bail here in, in just a minute. So you did a super job with all this. Design of design, it captures the spirit of, of the bus going around the community deck. And I think what, uh, what Sherwood said earlier, too. What's good for Virginia Tech is good for Blacksburg, and what's good for Blacksburg Amen. is good for Virginia Tech. We've drawn these little boundaries around the campus in town, but they aren't there. And uh, so I think this is an exciting time. And again, congratulations on, on getting that first place. Five, five, five four, three, two, two one. Do it! some spinners. <laughs>